What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through this new effects plugin called Chromatic Distortion, which adds a really unique distortion effect to your video. Within this pack, we have a bunch of different presets to choose from. And the main effect is this chromatic distortion effect. So I'm going to drag this onto my video clip and you can see it adds a really unique distortion effect. And if we go up here to the parameters, we can change the amount of distortion it adds and also keyframe this too. So for this one, I'm just going to keyframe it at the start. I'm going to keyframe the distortion amount, move forward on my timeline and turn it down. And this creates like a cool opening effect. And then if I go further into this pack, we have some more presets. And if I drag this portal one on, it creates like a distortion wave to the video clip. So if I play this back, you'll see the distortion waves that the effect creates. And this is the sort of preset you can just drag on and not worry about the keyframes. There's also four other different versions of this distortion wave effect. And then we can also change the amount of distortion that preset has. So you can see here, if I turn down the distortion, it changes how much the shockwave is affected. And then also a bunch of different parameters to change the look of the shockwave. The speed and scale is a main one that I would play with. So on this video clip, I'm going to add the effect to the wheel and I'm going to drag on the effect right onto the video clip onto the wheel. And Final Cut Pro will bring up the tracker icon. So I'm going to make the tracker around the wheel and then click analyze to track the mask to the wheel so that we only affect the wheel part of the video clip. And then if I go to the tracker up here, go to behavior and go to offset from tracker and go to the shape icon here. And then I can change the shape of the mask and also the feather so that it's just around the wheel. So now I have this cool distortion effect on the wheel. And then if I also add a glow effect to this, we have this pretty cool distortion glow effect. And then moving down to the bottom of this preset pack, we also have some opener and ender effects. So the ender effects, you can just drag on and it will add the distortion effect to the end of the video and the opener will add the distortion effect to the opening of the video. So if I just drag this onto my video clip, this ender, and then play the end of the video, it closes out with this distortion effect. And then if I also drag on the opener to this video clip, it will add the effect to the beginning of the video and then, and then slowly fade off. And then we can go to the distortion amount on this and you can see how much distortion it adds to the video. Or what I could do is add a shape mask and then select the shape mask, go up to tracker, and we can use the tracker that I just created for the wheel and make sure pin to tracker is selected, click done. So now that opening effect only affects a wheel and we get this really cool distortion effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. If you like the look of this plugin and want to pick it up, then I'll leave the link to it down in the description. I always appreciate the support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.